Hey there everyone, I am Dresden and welcome back to another episode of Driving Until Destroyed. Today we're going to be testing out three more vehicles to see how they do on the fail race test track. And we're starting off with this. This is the Abishu Kovet Runner, which is supposedly built for darting through traffic in Japan's expressways. So it should do pretty well. Uh, it's also got nitrous, of course we're going to use the nitrous, why wouldn't we? Um, hopefully the video looks good. I messed with some more settings, so hopefully it looks decent. Um, I guess we'll find out. Uh, before we get started here, I'm recording this quite early. Like, it won't be uploaded for another week-ish. Tomorrow I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. And I am not sure- do well, no, wait, I'm recording this on a Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm getting my wisdom teeth out. I'm not sure I'll be good to record. I don't know when I will. So, I cannot promise a video for Thursday. Uh, actually, I can. I think I already have one that's lined up. It just needs to go public. Um, we should have a video on Thursday. But I will try my best. Hopefully, I won't be too bad in too much pain and everything like that. But I guess we'll find out. Um, we rolled over on that first jump. It was rough, but we're fine. Definitely pulling to the right, though. I think both of our front wheels are a little bit... A little bit botched. And it sounds like our brakes are starting to fade. Judging by the squeaky... Squeakiness of them. Whenever we break. Um... Yeah, this thing looks cool. I'm a big fan of the Covet. It's a neat-looking vehicle. Um... This is a good, a good, kind of, not really upfit, but a good, um, version? I, I don't remember what it would be called. Anyway, I think we'll make this big jump. Will we make it too far? Yeah, holy smokes. Okay. That did burst our radiator. And that front left wheel is now, like, not touching the ground. Um, so we're gonna end up overheating. There is some decent water spots on the map. If I miss the third jump, and I guess the last jump, not that one, but the one before that. There's four spots that I can get the car wet. So if I do it quick enough and it's not, the radiator is not as bad, it's not terrible. Oh, heck. Uh, I can keep it cool just by the water. Like, our temperature is still going down. I have a good feeling that's not gonna happen. But in theory, it could. It could happen. I guess we'll just wait and see. Uh, we're about to make it a lap, though. I don't know why our distance odometer is off. But it is. So. Keep that in mind. That's like 1.6 miles. Uh, that odometer thing never really works great, doesn't it? It's never really right. I mean, I guess with wheel spin it's probably right. But it's never actually, actually right. Uh, I don't know. Um. Okay. We'll make this jump. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, that should have been good. Well, I mean, it wasn't terrible. It was not that bad, I guess. It just wasn't really great. Um, okay. Okay. Did that cool it down a decent amount? I don't know. But I made sure to get it in the water at least a bit, but I don't know. I don't think the uh, temp gauge might be going down a little bit, but it's not enough. Temperature gauge is not going down enough. So, we'll probably end up overheating here. Which stinks, but I mean, this thing still feels not too bad to drive. Which is surprising considering the beating it's taken. Still feels decent to drive. Ooh, that was a good jump. I did not pay attention. 57 miles an hour, I think I was at. I didn't really pay attention to that. Probably should have, because that's probably the speed I should aim at 
for the every other vehicle I run. I still don't know it, and we're pretty far through this series. Still not sure what speed to take that big jump at. But I think that might have been 57. I can give it a shot at some point. This is good. The rocks aren't great. We're almost out on oil, but... We are going to cool our engine off a bit. Which is what we needed. It is, in fact, what we needed. Engine is starved of oil. Yeah, I think it said that already, though. So, shocker, I guess. Um, okay, we're about to make it two laps in a Covet, in a vehicle that should not make it two laps. And it's still got a lot of power, somehow. 3.2 miles, we have made it. The odometer is still off by about, about 0.2 miles, 0.2 and a half, but we'll say it's 0.2. For the final tally, we'll say it's off by 0.2 miles. Uh, coolant is overheating again. Oil is now overheating, the small amount that we had left. Uh, okay. Not a great landing, but... I don't think this is long for the world anymore anyway, so... Not really expecting great landings. Yeah, oil overheating. Okay, rod bearings damaged. It's going down. It's going down, that is for sure. Piston rings are gone. Engine torque reduced. Yeah, doesn't sound as good anymore. Can we make it past this big jump? Or will we die? Full throttle does not sound like it did like five minutes, like 20 seconds ago even. I think this is gonna be it done. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That was it. So we're taking off 0.2 miles. Brings us to 4.1 miles completed not too bad that's really not bad at all actually um kind of happy with that cool all right and next up we have this this is the gaffrel h series h45 cabster cargo box upfit so it's the uh cabster with a cargo box on it i'm not expecting this to do very good um I wonder if that's an actual website, go truck it up dot bng. I'll, I'll have to look. I bet it is. Uh, oh. Uh, oh. Sorry, it's really late. I'm getting my wisdom teeth out at 8 in the morning tomorrow, and it's 11.17 currently. PM. And I gotta get this at least uploaded. I'll probably have to turn my computer off as well before I go, because there's no telling what I will do once I get back here. And I'm on anesthesia. Oh, 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 heck. That's some really nice wood texture on the floor back there. Um, yeah, that was painful. That was a big hit. This thing probably, I don't have the thing still that says what it weighs and how much horsepower it has. I'd assume this weighs a lot. Just a guess, just an assumption. But I feel like a, even if this is an aluminum panel van, like it's full of wood, probably pretty heavy. I would imagine. So, Oh, hey, check that out. Goodbye. Well, it's probably a lot lighter now. Now it's another version. You can literally just get a version that doesn't have the cargo box on it, and that's what this is now. We're not going to make this jump, are we? Nope. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. That was a really, really bad landing. Um... I guess we'll see how it runs. About what I expected. But we still move. Can we get over 20 miles an hour? 
I feel like we will. Yeah. We are officially over 20 miles an hour, which means that we are good to keep going. It's not great. It's really not great. And we're also almost at, apparently, 1.6 miles. Even though that's definitely not true. This is probably like 1.4, I would say. But because we have so much wheel spin, that thing is reading off. Because of course it is. We're gonna overheat too. I don't even think, yeah, our radiator hasn't even popped. We're just abusing this thing so much. We're gonna end up overheating. Without even popping the radiator out. Uh, we're gonna need to be real careful by the rocks. Okay. That cooled us down a good bit. Will we make it a lap? Will we make it 1.6 miles? I don't know. That temperature gauge is not climbing super fast. But it's climbing. Definitely climbing. We're pretty much redlining the entire time here. So. Wouldn't be surprised if we don't make it. I think we'll at least get a lap though. This, the game thinks we've gone a lot further than we have. Interest. Oh, hiccup. Interestingly. I guess because that wheel is spinning. Oh man, I'm a pro. That's officially 1.6 miles. We have done that much. So now, we just need to do more. This thing's really slidey, really fun to drift. Put a V8 in this. A great, great grift car. Yeah, great. It's really great grift, grift car. Um, yeah, we're not going to make this jump. So how much damage will it cause? Not a lot, because we landed in a mix of mud and water. And we're beached. I'm pretty sure my rule is that I can pull it off if we're beached. I think I've done that recently. So, I will do that again. It's about probably 1.8-ish miles. It thinks we've gone over two laps. The total distance reader in the bottom there, that odometer. So don't pay any mind to that, because it's not right. Definitely not right. We have not gone that far. Um, little more water. Cool off the engine at all? Not really. Uh, that might not be enough water to cool off the engine. Ow. I've got a feeling we're going to make it to this big jump and then be done. Don't beach. Don't beach. Okay. If we even make it to the big jump. Which we probably won't, you know. Coolant is overheating. Our radiator's not dead, but we're already overheating. So. But we make it to the big jump. I don't know. I don't know. We're at about 2.5 miles. This jump will mark about 2.6. Uh, man. Okay. Oh, piston rings damaged. Okay. Well, we did technically make it through the jump. Not over the jump, but through the jump. That counts. That definitely will count. It thinks we've gone like three miles. Almost. Which we have not. Er, not miles, laps. Do they? Like three laps. Definitely have not. Oh, we don't have the torque to get up this hill anymore. I'm actually. Oh. Well. That's the end of that, I guess. 
I would say we went about 2.7 miles. I'm judging by the fact that going over the jump is about one mile. Going over that big jump there is about a mile. And a lap is 1.6. So a lap plus a mile will be 2.6. We've made it a little further. I would say 2.7. 2.8, somewhere around there. I'll probably write down 2.7. I don't think we have any 2.7s on the leaderboard yet, so that'll that'll make it nice. Yeah, 2.7 miles. On to the third and final vehicle for this episode. All right, and finally we have this. This is the ETK 800 series, 856XC300. This thing is awesome. It's so cool. The plastic fenders are even cool. It's just cool. I'm a big fan of wagons, though. So it makes sense. I drive a wagon in real life now. I, I drive a Subaru Outback. So, you know, big fan of the wagon body style. Um, this thing is so cool, and I wish that I knew it existed sooner because I would have driven it more. But now that I know it exists, this will probably be my go-to um, for just playing around. And it's got a comfort sport mode as well. It's got both of those. Okay. Should have been a decent landing. I think we've slightly collapsed that front right suspension. And our induction system is a little damaged. So our turbo won't be getting the air that it necessarily needs. And we'll start to overheat. Which is not what we want from this wagon. But it's what we're going to get. So, you know what? Deal with it, I guess. Um, okay. Pretty decent. Let me make sure. I, I'm going to make sure this jump is at a mile. I'm like 90% sure that it is. Just going to make sure, though. Or at least around a mile. And we'll try like 56. Ah. Holy smokes. Okay. So 56 miles an hour, definitely not. Holy crap, was that way too fast. I don't know, I'm gonna need to do some like experimenting to figure out the best speed for that jump. Though me not knowing the best speed for this long, it feels like almost cheating for the next vehicles if I do know it. So maybe I won't try. Maybe I'll figure it out on my own. Like not, like, I mean like through experience on this. That was actually, that could have been a lot worse. That wasn't that bad. Um, only real major issue we have is that front left wheel being perma-turned to the left. Everything else, like, I mean, yeah, our induction system is damaged. Yeah, our front right suspension isn't great. That scared me, but I didn't realize I was steering. Like, those are facing two different directions. Which they are, when I'm steering to the left. When I steer to the right, I bet it's great, isn't it? Yeah, the right, or left. The left is great. Steering to the right is kind of stinky. Actually, they do face two different directions, just period. That's just what they do. Uh-oh. Man, does that wall grab you. Holy cow. Um... Okay, well, we are no longer healthy. Uh-oh. I don't know if we can steer to the right anymore. No. I can try to, like... Well, yeah, no wonder we can't steer to the right. Look at that. What in the world? Yeah, we're not... We're not good anymore. I mean... Yeah, no. We're done. That's not happening. 1.7 miles is where this will come to a rest. Man. That's not great. That's not terrible. But it's not great. Anyway, 
I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the like button, hit the red subscribe button, and that bell icon down below to get notified of when I upload. Sorry, I just ran my knee into my desk. Um, hopefully we'll get a video. Well, there will be one on Thursday. Wish me luck. By the time you're watching this, the operation is over, and it has been for like four days, and I'm just going to be unable to eat and in excruciating pain when you're watching this. So, yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully it goes well. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, this has been Dresden on BMG Drive with another episode of Driving Until Destroyed, and goodbye.